man. Yeah, it makes me mad. Because I, me and you both put in a lot of time on this fucking... You get pissed? I get pissed. Uh. Sometimes it made me want to sock a nigga in the mouth. Sock a wall? No, sock a nigga in the mouth. Sock the wall? Have I ever socked the wall? Yeah. Well, sure, I socked the wall. Have you socked the wall before? Nah, I never socked the whole. You ain't never got mad. Was like, nah. Nah, nah, nah. I always see that shit in the movies. I like. I never, I never thought to sock a wall in my house. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm gonna keep it G. It's story time. Story time. Let's go. Story time. <laughs> this is good for community clips too. Story Wait, time. but before we do that, this is the new sub goal. Let when we get to 1500, I'm giving away two Oculus. Last giveaway. Was um, the Nintendo Switch OLED? You know what I'm saying? The wall is gonna win every time. You know what I mean? The wall is undefeated. Ad, if I donate fifty, will you crib walk? We saving that for the season finale. Oh my god! You just kicked a hole in my wall. <laughs> oh my Ad god. shines brightest during story time. All right, look. Let's go. Story time. I'm gonna tell you about the wall first, but it. This is not, matter of fact, it's not even about a wall. I'm going to tell you about the wall. I'm going to tell you about the wall afterwards. But this is the story time right here, all right? So, I used to live with my grandma, right? West side of Compton. Moms had got a new boyfriend, which was actually Big Ski's dad. Shout out to my brother Kiki. Has a new boyfriend, right? So, my mom gets pregnant with my little brother that y'all hear doing that karaoke. <laughs> it was the worst karaoke ever. We moved to the east side of Compton. So we lived right right, right, right in front of the Compton swap meet. So when I was, yeah, RIP to my granny. So when I was going to school in high school, right, there was this girl I liked. I used to take the school bus. And this girl convinced me, she was like, you will look sexy if you get your ears pierced. Mm. At the time, I did not get my ears pierced. Mm. At the time, I did not have my ears pierced. So she said, you'll be sexy if you get your ears pierced. So I convinced my moms. I said, hey, moms, can I get my ears pierced? She was like, no. You know what your boy AD did? What you do? Fuck you, mom. I went to go get my ears pierced. Popped up with it. I got two earrings in my ear now. I'm getting ready to go to school. I get to school the next day. The girl is on me. She like, oh, yeah, you look real handsome. I'm like, nigga, I'm in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm in. I got my I got my earrings now. Mom wasn't really tripping. She was like, I told you don't do it, but she ain't really tripping. I Shout always, out to HB 7000 for I, gifting the sub. Thank I you always, so much. How I old was I? Yeah. I was in ninth grade. Okay. I was in ninth 14. grade. Huh? 14. About, about 15. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're 15 in ninth grade? 14, 15. I don't know, nigga. How old are you in ninth grade? Oh, you, you got, you got a stump. Like, what happened? What you mean? You was 15 in ninth grade? No, nigga. I don't know how old you are. Nigga, what, nigga, when the last time you was in high school? Shit. I was, I was 13 in ninth grade. Nigga, no. You was dumb as a I motherfucker. I turned 14 in ninth grade. I turned 14. Well, nigga, let me finish the story. Yeah. All right. That so, story is dragging. Now, get to the good point. No, nigga, this story ain't dragging. Let me tell you something, man. I got to break everything down. So, that I go to the motherfucking school... I come back one day, right? We out late. We probably get into the crib like around 8, 9 o'clock, right? I had accidentally lost one of my earrings in the fucking, um, in the fucking car. Mm. So mom was just like, hey, you got to come inside. I'll say, mom, I lost my earrings. I ain't had a piercing on. They going to close up. She was like, I don't care. You need to come in the house. You need to get ready for school tomorrow. And I was not listening. I was really trying to find that earring. I did not want my shit to close. So moms, she was like, no, you need to fucking come in. So me and moms, we just start arguing. You know what I'm saying? Moms starts tripping on me. I'm like, mom, I'm about to find my earrings. Big ski dad come out. He like, your mom told you to get in the motherfucking house. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm like, man, I was scared of that nigga. I'm going to keep a G. I was scared of that nigga. I'm like, man, what the fuck? What the fuck? Nigga, mom's tried to swing on me. You feel me? <laughs> and I blocked it. Now I'm a little bigger. You know what I mean? I ain't mom's little boy no more. She can't just be punching on a nigga. Tried to hit me. I was like, ugh. She was like, you hit me! I was like, I didn't hit you, mama. Big ski daddy come out of nowhere. The motherfucker grab me, nigga. Come here, get your bitch ass in the motherfucking house. Slam me to the fucking ground. You feel me? Mom's just like, give me your other earring. 
I'm like, oh, no, I'm fucking sick. You know what I'm saying? So they have it, and they still sore because they ain't healed all the way. So I take my other earring out, and I get a motherfuckers to my mom, right? <laughs> my mama said, you hit me. I was like, mama, I did not fucking hit you. Mama, I didn't say fuck it. I'm like, mama, I did not hit you. She's like, you, you're going to juvenile hall. I'm tired of you, oh. right? So I was like, I don't want my earrings to fucking close. So I literally got some staples. You know what I'm saying? You know, like the little staplers? I got two staplers, and I put one in each ear, and I close it to be like an earring. Do not never do that shit. When I tell you I woke up and it was still trying to heal, the motherfuckers was crusted on my ear, nigga. I woke up, nigga, with my ears pussing and all that. I wake up in the motherfucking morning. <laughs> Mom's just like, you're, you're not, you're going to juvenile hall, right? Not juvenile hall, boot camp. I forgot whatever the fuck she said. I think she said juvie. She said, I'm sending you to juvie. And I said, what? And she said, boom. She got in her phone. And I was like, I ain't about to go to motherfucking juvie. So I started putting on my shoes. She said, what you putting on your shoes for? She's still by the door. So then I took my motherfucking shoes off. And nigga, I heard her talking to somebody on the phone. Nigga, I juke moms. I ran out the house. Boom. Moms was like, what the fuck? Nigga, I'm running. Nigga, I got my socks on. Nigga, I'm running past the comp and swap me. Nigga, I'm running for dear life. Nigga, I'm over there zooming. Nigga, I'm running. I'm running. I don't know where the fuck I'm running to. Then I start thinking, like, oh, I, need, I need to run to Grandma's house. Grandma's house on the west side of Compton. So, nigga, I'm running through all these neighborhoods. Nigga, my mama had an Astro van at the time. I see moms pull up with the Astro van. She's like, get in the car. I'm like, no, I'm not getting in the car. So I start running. I start trying to juke moms. I hit the corners. Moms catch up to me again. Yeah, I was running like Rue. <laughs> you feel me? He watched you for you. I'm like, no, no. Mama's like, get in the car. I'm like, I'm not going in the car. She was like, I'm taking you to Juvie. I'm like, no, you're not. I'm running again. I'm running, I'm running. Mom's catch up to me again. She said, get in the car. And she she could have tricked me, but she didn't. She said, I'm taking you to your grandma house. So I was like, all right. So I jump in the motherfucking car like a dumbass. But luckily, moms took me to my grandma. And mom's just like, I can't do it no more. This is your son. You handle it. And I literally, from that day forward, from ninth grade until I graduated high school, and, until I was 25, I stayed with my grandma. I didn't stay with my mom again. And for almost a whole year, my mom did not talk to me. Mm. When I needed money, she would say, ask your grandma. Like, moms was not fucking with me. Because you hit her? I didn't hit her. It took a long time for me and my mom. <laughs> it's a euphoria based on AD. Uh. Yeah, I'm running like Naruto to the granny house. I'm like this. Oh, shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> hey, no, but on some real shit, I stayed with my grandma, man, after that. It was me and my granny. Shout out to Trippin', man, for gifting us up. Thank you so much. Um, Yeah, man. So, me and moms did not talk for a while, bro. We did not talk for a while. And, and honestly, it made our relationship better. Because after that, me and moms got real closer, and I stayed with my grandma, man, until uh, I was about 25, and then grandma died. You know what I'm saying? This is L.A. He's an abuser. <laughs> I did not hit my mom, I promise you. I swear on my life. I just blocked her shit. You know what I'm saying? I did. I did. Like, watch out, mama. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. All that, just, bro, and this, and, and I go to tell the story is, the lengths that men will go to try to fucking uh, impress women. You know what I'm saying? The lengths that men will go to impress women. I care so much about how this girl was going to look at me with my motherfucking earrings that I didn't block the shot from my mama. Running down the running through the streets with my socks on, and I end up not having a damn relationship with my mom. This is AD Perry, this mom punch. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and that is not the pun. I know you have a story where you tried to impress a woman or you did something because a girl asked you to. That's funny, dog. You ain't never did that because a girl asked you to. Speak on it. Nah, man. 
What's the most thirst? No. Tell great stories, man. No. What's hey? I want. I want to. Hey. I want to hear a pun story. Tell us the most thirstiest shit you did because a woman asked you to. Because she asked me to. I can tell you a thirsty story. Like, g- give me a thirsty story. When I was young and shit, this ain't got nothing to do with a woman asked me to. This is like some thirsty shit though. I got when thirsty I was, stories. When I was young and shit, I had a deep voice for my age, right? So, I was like in seventh grade, right? And there used to be this bitch named Barbara used to get off the bus every day. But she was like this Barbara. That's an old woman that. Barbara's like old woman. Tenth grade, she was a Georgia and shit, right? So I remember I was like, I was kind of taller for my age and shit. I was seventh grade, but I was like tall, deep voice. And I used to say I was like, you know, 15, 16. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I remember one day, like, I, I ended up cracking her, bro. Like, on some, you know, walking to the store, shit cracked her. And I remember one day, like, I met her at the bus stop. And I was up there, like, on some, like, sucker shit. I was, like, feeling myself. Like, I'm finna go up here and fuck with her. And then my homeboy is coming from the park, ba- ba- uh, bouncing the basketball. I remember he walked up. He's like, what you doing over here? Like, your mama know you over here? I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? You know what I mean? Like, you know, nigga, I want to bring that up. But the nigga, like, uh, he like, hey, you talk to my, you know, my little homeboy? Like, you know he's in seventh grade. Oh! Hey, though, you right? Oh, so, uh, bro, I was fucking hurt, dog. But I was like, that was like the first time when I like, I'm like, damn, I was still a virgin, too, at that time. I ain't gonna lie. Seventh grade, I ain't get no pussy yet. But I was like, nigga, I almost had her, bro. An older bitch. You know that feeling when you young, got an older bitch in high school and shit? Yeah. I was thirsty, dog. I got, I, got, I got another one for you. What? I got another one for you. So. <laughs> I, what happened? This is Pun was the same side of the elementary school. Yeah, Pun was the same side of the elementary school. Right. Pun looked like my big toe. That's that's accurate. Ah. That's accurate. Because definitely don't got no socks. Shout out to right DJ now. Affiliated. That's my guy. Thank you for the follow, my guy. I Shout love. out to DJ Affiliated. Let me, get, let me tell you another story. Y'all love story time all the time, man. I love it. So, this is one I'm not proud of. Now, this is not the power of, this is this is also the power of the, of the P. I'm going to keep it G. There's some thirsty shit. So, when I was, uh, I went to this, I went to Harbor College, right? For community college, right? I went there for two years. That's as much as my school went to. And I used to go in that motherfucker. Me and my, me and my homie BC, we used to be on there bullshitting and shit like that. So, I go to Harbor College, right? And while I'm on campus, it was these two motherfucking twins. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Trippin' for gifting us up. Shout out to Trippin'. There were two. Oh, shout out to DJ Affiliated for cheering 300. I appreciate you, my guy. That's my guy right there. And we got some new shit dropping this week for you, DJ Affiliated. Hot shit the Uza Mafia had motherfucking paid for. You know what I'm saying? But, so it was these two twins. Two little twins, right? I, didn't, I couldn't tell them apart, but they were some badass twins, in my opinion. And I'm sitting there trying to get cracking with them. AD tried to be slick. I went to Harvard. <laughs> hey, no, not Harvard. Harbor College. <laughs> it's a city um, in, in, in Los Angeles. I think it's at Harvard. Yes, yeah, it's, it's called Harbor City. It's a community college. But I went there for two years. Um, so these two twins was there. And I I don't I didn't care which twin I got. They looked the same. I was just like, hey, I want one of the motherfucking twins. I want one of them. I want one of the twins. You feel me? So one of the twins one day with their homegirls, and she walks up to me, and she says, oh, A.D., you would be very attractive if you had an eyebrow piercing. Oh, my God. Right? Fuck. What you think thirsty-ass A.D. went? At, at, that shit? Yes, nigga. Let me tell you. At the time... Yeah. Only Long Beach niggas used to get eyebrow rings and shit like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And I used to be afraid of fucking needles. So getting any piercing, I was like, fuck, I don't want to go through that shit. You know what I'm saying? So my dumb ass, I go to the motherfucking Delamo swap meet. And I tell him I want to get my eyebrow pierced. <laughs> Look, you can. I don't know if you can still see it. I still got a hole right there. Yep, you can see the hole right there, y'all. So yeah, one of the tail thirds. Look, look, you see the hole right there? Yeah, the tail third eyebrow piercing. Now let me tell you. No, no, no. I was looking, I was like, I don't want to be like the Long Beach niggas. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I wanna I wanna get something that look cool. So I found me like a a, a, a black, like kind of hook one. I was like, alright, that's different. I'm gonna make it happen. So I go to the Delamo swap meet and I get my motherfucking eyebrow pierced. Right? 
and I go to the block. <laughs> and a couple of the homies from the hood, they see me with the eyebrow piercing. They was like, hey, cuz, why you get that shit? I was like, man, hey, man, this bitch told me I look good with it. The homie was like, free my homie Trini, man. He'll tell you this shit. He's he still locked up right here. Trini said, hey, nigga, I want to get my shit done, too. So I take this nigga to Delamo Swap Me. Could I get his shit pierced? We got two more other homies that get their shit pierced, nigga. So now all us Compton niggas got these motherfucking eyebrow piercings and shit like that. I go back to Harbor College. The joint see me. She give me action. I'm like, yes. I got one of the twins. I got one of the twins. You know what I'm saying? Got one. Nigga, we hollering at each other, right? <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> nigga, thirsty, nigga. Super fucking, this is thirsty as fuck. Oh, I got to keep it. I got to keep it G, though. I got to keep it G. And let me tell you why I took it out. Did you smack? No, I did not smack. <laughs> Super <laughs> Aaron. Super L. That and then smack. Let me tell you what happened. Ooh. Let me tell you what happened. Elbow. So I'm texting her back and forth. We getting to know each other. I'm thinking that I'm making leeway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, I will say this. I, I, I had a lot more attention from the girls when I got it done. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is a fucking L because I did not smack. I did not. Oh, I can't lie man. to the Uza Mafia. I cannot lie to the community. Yeah. So, and this is when I fucking took the shit out. So they used to hang with this nigga, right? The twins? The twins. Okay. They used to hang with this nigga. I'm not thinking nothing of it. They had like a group of females and there used to be one nigga to hang with them. I'm like, that may be their brother or something like that. And then I go, I walk up to the girl one day. I'm sitting there chilling with her, talking to her. And then the motherfucking nigga like, excuse me. And I'm just like brushing it off. I'm like, yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm talking to the feet. Talk to the sitch. You feel me? The nigga says, excuse me. And I say, what? He said, are you happen to be bi or gay in any way? Uh, I said, what the fuck? Uh, nigga, you think I'm no, gay? I'll be gay uh. I said, nigga, you think I'm gay? What the fuck? <laughs> nigga, I walked away. I took that motherfucking eyebrow ring. Nigga, I threw that motherfucker. I ain't never put that shit on. I was like, nigga, man, hey, no, nah, maybe I'm giving the wrong impression around this motherfucker. I tossed that motherfucker to the wolves, nigga. Not the wolves that we be with. But that Damn. shit tripped me out. Damn, so that was it after that? Nigga, that was it. It was over? It was over. Hey, hey, take that shit out of the stream elements, bro. What? At the, at the, the night box. Look. You still in there? Look, you see it? Oh, hold on, hold on. I thought I turned it off. Let me see something. That's crazy, man. What the fuck? Yeah, so you nigga. Took it out after that, huh? How long you had it before you took it out, nigga? I had that shit like years. Nah, a year. I had that shit months. Close to maybe close to a year. Okay. Okay. Would maybe do, close to would a you year do it again. No, I would never do it again. Okay. But that shit was thirsty. Hey, did you ever uh pause? Get your tongue pierced. Fuck no, nigga. I'm trying to play me. That's what shit y'all would do. That's something y'all era would do. Uh, no, that's y'all era, nigga. No, that's your era, nigga. And your tongue pierced. Hold on. Let me finish this chat bot. I just deleted it. It shouldn't, it shouldn't happen no more. All right. Are you just disabled? You know what I'm saying? Uh, AD was out here catfishing on the gay homies. <laughs> Hey, uh, no, no. But uh, you know what? You know what was popular when I was younger and I was thinking about getting it? Motherfuckers, pierced. no, motherfuckers used to get the top of this shit pierced. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was doing that. They used to get the top of this shit pierced. I'm glad I didn't get that shit. I'm going to keep it G. You ever had like multiple uh, ear earrings? Yeah. I used to have I used to have them pierced right next to if each other. You got more than two in each ear. You're kind of sus. Nigga, I had two. Okay. I had the little Michael Jackson, I mean, the, the Michael Jordan shit. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Michael Jordan, you had the hoop earrings? I had, I, yeah, I had the hoops next to my fucking regular ones, fool. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You are wearing hoops, huh? Big boy, just subscribe. Nah, ah, nigga, little ah, hoops, ah, nigga. Ah, I had some little diamond hoops, kid. I got the big hoops on his ear. <laughs> <laughs> Matching tongue piercing is crazy. Oh I ain't never had a God. tongue piercing. Hey, somebody make a fucking picture <laughs> with this nigga AD killer. Big hoop earrings, man. <laughs> nigga, you acting like I had bamboos or something. Hey, man, we don't know. 